Hello and welcome to EVs by MH. The YouTube channel where I review the latest and greatest electric vehicles from around the world. Today, I'm going to talk about the BYD Seagull. A compact all-electric hatchback designed by Chinese EV maker BYD. The Seagull is based on BYD's E-Platform 3.0 modular vehicle architecture. And it is currently the smallest and cheapest vehicle in the BYD Ocean series. Which includes the BYD Seal, Atto 3, and Dolphin. The Seagull was officially launched in April 2023 at the Auto Shanghai Show. And it is now ready for its Chinese market debut. In this video, I will go over the specs, features, prices, and availability of the BYD Seagull. And give you my honest opinion on whether this is a good choice for your next EV purchase. So, let's get started. The BYD Seagull is a subcompact hatchback that measures 3,780 mm in length, 1. 715 mm in width, and 1,540 mm in height. It has a wheelbase of 2. 500 mm and a seating capacity of four people, including the driver. The exterior design of the Seagull is quite striking, with numerous sharp lines. Angular shaped headlights and a sloping roofline with rear lamps connected by a light bar. The front grille is replaced by a smooth panel with the BYD logo in the center. The Seagull comes in six different colors white, black, blue, red, yellow, and green. The interior of the Seagull is also very modern and minimalist, with a two-tone design that matches the exterior color. The dashboard is flowing and sleek, with a large 12.8-inch touchscreen infotainment system in the middle. The digital gauges have an area of 5 inches and display various information such as speed battery level, range, etc. The steering wheel has some buttons for controlling the audio and cruise control functions. The seats are comfortable and supportive, with fabric upholstery and contrast stitching. The trunk capacity of the Seagull is 930 liters, 32.8 cubic feet, which is quite spacious for a small car. The Seagull is powered by a single permanent magnet synchronous motor that comes in two power options. 55 kilowatts, 74 horsepower, or 75 kilowatts, 101 horsepower. The torque output is 135 newton meters, 100 pound feet, for both options. The top speed of the Seagull is 130 kilometers per hour. 81 miles per hour, and the acceleration from 0 to 50 kilometers. H, 31 miles per hour, takes 4.9 seconds. The acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers. H, 62 miles per hour, takes 13 seconds for the 55 kilowatts option and 11 seconds for the 75 kilowatts option. The battery pack of the Seagull is also available in two sizes, 30.08 kWh or 38.88 kWh. Both are lithium iron phosphate batteries that use BYD's blade technology, which increases the energy density and safety of the cells. The battery pack can be recharged via an household AC power plug at 6. 6 kilowatts or via a DC fast charger at 30 or 40 kilowatts, depending on the model. The charging time from 30% to 80% capacity takes about 30 minutes using a DC fast charger. The range of the Seagull varies depending on the battery size and driving conditions. According to the NEDC cycle, the Seagull can travel up to 305 kilometers. 190 miles, on a single charge with the 30 kWh battery pack or up to 405 km, 252 miles, with the 38 kWh battery pack. 
However, these numbers are likely to be lower in real-world driving scenarios. The Seagull also features some advanced technologies that enhance its performance and convenience. For example, it has BYD's D-Link operating system that allows you to control various functions of the car using your smartphone or voice commands. It also has an NFC phone key feature that lets you unlock and start the car using your phone as a key. The Seagull also has four airbags, ABS brakes, electronic stability control, tire pressure monitoring system, rear parking sensors, and a rearview camera for safety. The pricing of the Seagull starts from around $10,700 or 73. 800 Chinese yuan in China for the base model called the Vitality Edition, which has the 55 kilowatts motor and the 30 kilowatt hours battery pack. The higher specification model called the Freedom Edition costs $11,900 or 81. 800 Chinese yuan and has the same motor but a larger battery pack of 38 kilowatt hours. The top specification model called the Flight Edition costs $13,000 or 89. 800 Chinese Yuan and has both the larger battery pack and a more powerful motor of 75 kilowatts. The availability of the Seagull is currently limited to the Chinese market. Where it is being mass produced at BYD's car plants. There is no official word on whether the Seagull will be exported to other countries or regions. But some reports suggest that it might be sold in Europe and Latin America in the future. So, what do I think of the BYD Seagull? Well, I think it is a very attractive and affordable EV that offers a lot of value for money. It has a stylish design, a spacious interior, a decent range and some smart features that make it easy and fun to drive. It is also very eco-friendly, as it uses lithium-iron phosphate batteries that are more sustainable and safer than conventional lithium-ion batteries. Moreover, BYD has announced that it will use sodium-ion batteries in future batches of the Seagull, which are even more environmentally friendly and cost-effective. The Seagull is a great example of how BYD is innovating and leading the EV industry in China and beyond. However, the Seagull is not without its drawbacks. For one thing, it is a very small car that might not suit everyone's needs and preferences. It only has four seats and a limited top speed, which might make it less practical and comfortable for long trips or highway driving. It also faces some stiff competition from other EVs in its segment, such as the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV, the Leap Motor T03, and the Tesla Model 2, if it ever comes out. The Seagull might also have some quality and reliability issues, as BYD is not known for having the best reputation in these aspects. Overall, I think the BYD Seagull is a good option for people who are looking for a cheap and cheerful EV that can serve as a daily commuter or a city car. It has a lot of potential and charm, but it also has some limitations and challenges. If you are interested in buying one, I suggest you do some more research and test drive one before making your final decision. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more EV reviews. Also, let me know what you think of the BYD Seagull in the comments below. Do you like it or not? Would you buy one or not? I would love to hear your opinions. Thank you for watching and see you next time on EVs by MH.